So here we are on the grid on day two of the uh, Italian qualifying Grand Prix. Another beautiful sunny sky and I'm standing with Mike Young from Great Britain. Hello Mike. Hello Jill. <laughs> so uh, we had a great day yesterday. The first day is always very nervy for everybody but uh, it was a good, uh, a good flight and tell us about your day Mike. Well because we had good conditions um, it made uh, the flight fairly fairly straightforward considering I haven't actually flown here before so that was a bit exciting really not really knowing the area because uh, during the practice week we just didn't have the opportunity to uh, to get airborne so uh, so that was the first flight in this area um, which was very exciting and uh, we had very good conditions strong thermals um, and uh, and I just sort of latched on and uh, followed the good guys when I could and uh, just tried to stay as high as possible as well where, where, where appropriate. Yeah well, I'm sure there was I'm sure that was a lot of uh, individual skill as well Mike but um, what about the conditions did the conditions vary much during the day? Uh, we did we did have quite a contrast from uh, when we went down to the south uh, let me get the direction right the south west yeah towards the bottom end of the Aosta Valley um, it was quite humid down there I think it was sort of humid air off the Po Valley and the cloud base was a lot lower um, and then as we worked back to the north um, the conditions improved and we were up to uh, three and a half thousand meters yeah. and was the wind much of an issue yesterday because they were forecasting quite a strong wind did that materialize uh, as we headed north wind picked up and uh, it meant that the ridges worked really well so it gave the opportunity to either run along the ridges um, slightly lower or to take a higher route um, and uh, actually yesterday I did both I, I went uh, initially the high route and then uh, I saw a lot of people going the low route and I thought I'll give that a go and, uh, and that was very exciting because it was turbulent as well. So. Yeah, I I hear it was very turbulent low down, but today's forecast is uh, a lot less wind, quite a different air mass. We've got a very moist air mass here and uh, much drier to the to the north. What do you think about today's task? Uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, at the moment we've got a task which takes us uh, to another area which I've never been before and uh, it uh, will be tricky. If we don't get the cloud base then I think the the far turn point um, towards uh, Bolzana, I think it is. Uh, that that will be interesting. And uh, but if we get good weather, then it should should be um, should be a doddle. Be should okay. be a doddle. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. There's a low. Uh, there's a high pass before the uh, north uh, easterly turn point, isn't there? So that might be a place where people can tune in and watch the uh, tracking. That's when it's going to get interesting. Yeah, I think it'll be very interesting and uh, if we're not uh, high there then uh, we could be in for some long retrieves uh, if we land out at the far turn. We'll all be watching. Okay, thanks very much Mike. Have a great flight. <laughs> Hi, so I'm standing here on the grid, at the back of the grid, while they're launching with John Gatfield, one of the pilots, one of the four pilots from the, the UK. So John, you've already flown a, a Grand Prix this year in Spain, haven't you? That's correct. What are the differences uh, so far between uh, the flying in the Pyrenees in Spain and flying here in the Italian Alps? Good question. Um, I think the Pyrenees was probably more straightforward. It's one long valley, relatively easy to work out and I, we had a chance for two or three practice days here it's a complete mystery <laughs> it is so beautiful the lakes are fantastic the mountains are fabulous but it's just a question of learning it yeah and you've only flown one day so far so maybe I should ask you the same question again at the end of the week <laughs> <laughs> let's see if I have a good week yeah <laughs> so they've changed the task now it's mm. a slightly shorter task not that much shorter how are you feeling about the the change uh, I'm pleased they pulled back previously we had to cross a pass at 2,000 meters and it was a long way away so at least now we're a little compressed not as windy as yesterday so I'm hoping be a little more easy to interpret but uh, yeah I'm happy we've changed. Yeah. 
So, uh, so John, you're flying an ASG 29. We've got uh, other types of gliders here. When you're flying at really fast speeds, or even or even not, is there any difference? Do you see much difference between the gliders? I think they're all pretty similar. I think it's much more about the guy holding the stick. So Giorgio in his Ventus 2 CXA, he goes like the clappers wherever. Russell in his um, JS1 probably climbs a little bit better, but in the glide, I don't think there's anything. And me, I love the G29. I think it's a fabulous aircraft. So you think it's more of a matter of personal choice than really thinking that one glider is better than the other? I guess it's a bit like brands. You stick with what you know. I've always flown Schleicher, and I'm just used to the way it handles and the way it feels. But and what do you? What is it you like about Grand Prix racing? Do you prefer it to the classic type of racing? And what is it that you like about it? I prefer it, and my wife definitely prefers it because it's much better about time management. So short briefing. You don't wait in the start area to select your start time. Everybody goes and it is just fantastic racing wingtip to wingtip. It is, it's unbelievable. Yesterday going out west, all 20 of us and I, were at, well, I was at the back and slightly higher so I had the full view of the whole field and it just looks fantastic. And is the start scary? Because people who've not flown uh, a Grand Prix before might think that the start could be a bit scary. What's your experience? I think it's okay. I think you need to do it two or three times and it's good to practice it before a competition. But actually, managing your height, your speed, I think that's the complicated factor. You've got a 5k line, so you know there's not much traffic conflict. I think it's quite straightforward, but you need to practice it. Great. Well, thanks very much for your views. Have a great flight today and we're looking forward to watching you on the tracking. <laughs> thanks. <Okay. you. laughs> thanks.